Yad Ashi ate my son, she used to want to go to cheat me, but she's cheating to couple hunters. She said, She said, She said, She Hello, my name is Tomas Hunt. I'm from the Navajo Nation, and we are here at Red Heritage. Red Heritage, we were established in 2021. Red Heritage has always been a dream of mine. When I was in high school, I was performing for a lot of the different tour operators here in Page, and uh, I got tired of dancing 10, 15 times a day and so there wasn't a lot of outlets for other performers to have in Page in the surrounding area. So I thought, you know what, I could do that. I could have that outlet. So that way, firstly, we don't have to dance 10 times a day. We can just do one big show every e evening. And on top of that, we'd have an outlet for younger generation in order to learn the dances and be able to spread that awareness of culture. Powwows are gatherings of different Native American people who come together to compete and dance and to socialize. It's a lot of fun. It's open to the general public. So people of any heritage and background around can come together to not necessarily participate but watch and partake of the dancing. The dances that are conducted in powers are shared by the many different tribes across the United States and into Canada. Each one of the dances conducted have origin stories that originate with a specific tribe and from there it's shared amongst all the different tribes in the United States and into Canada. So each d dance that is conducted has very specific reason for, the, for why it's happening. Some dances are done for healing some are done for storytelling, some are done for blessings, blessing of the area, and others are done out of excitement and, and joy. When you go to a powwow, each one of the dancers prepare in different ways. In the United States, there are 574 federally recognized tribes, and so when people refer to Native American people, that's a generalization of 574 unique tribes that have their own unique history, heritage, culture, and language. As Native American people, we are a minority within the United States. We want to be able to offer that to the youth. They don't necessarily want to learn our culture and heritage because it's not as fun as, you know, Facebook, TikTok, and whatnot. However, by learning these dances and learning able, uh, being able to express themselves through their dances, from there, hopefully from there, they'll be able to ask the deeper questions, why are we doing these dances? And from there, hopefully that will continue a domino effect of answering more, asking more questions about their history, their culture, their heritage, and preferably their language. In Pow Wow, we use a, a, a pretty sizable drum and uh, you're able to fit 10 to 15 people at this drum and each person is tapping on the drum and the drum itself and the singing that's involved in powwow is the songs represent prayer when that person first sings by themselves that represents to you as an individual saying a prayer and then from there when everyone jumps in together that represents your ancestors praying with you so these songs that we're singing are prayers these drums here are circular representing the circle of life the drum itself and the sound that it produces represents our grandfather's heartbeat, Mother Earth's heartbeat, and our heartbeat as well. And so when we're singing and dancing to these songs, the, the drum is telling us how fast or how slow to dance. So we're being able to move with the circle of life. We're able to stay within the rhythm of the drum. As someone who's not a part of the Native American culture, when you come and you see the dances that are conducted in powwows, here at Red Heritage, we invite everybody to take photos, uh, to make recordings and enjoy themselves. But when you go to a powwow and you go to those settings, you got to remember that these are sacred, important settings that are uh, that are being taken place. And I mentioned prayers are happening, songs are prayers, dancings are prayers. And so when you're there and you're taking photos, ask permission before you take photos, before you take these recordings, because some people don't want it. Other people will allow it. When you refer to the clothing that the dancers are wearing, we do not refer to them as costumes, because costume refers to the fact that you're trying to be something that you're not, you're pretending. Whereas what we're wearing, you know, we're not pretending to be who we are. We are Native American. What we're wearing is referred to as regalia or outfit. And so when you're at these powwows, you gotta take into consideration the fact that each one of these dances go back for generations. And they originate with something that can be very spiritual to Native American people. And it's not just a costume and some person dancing out there having fun. Though it is fun, these dances come from a very spiritual uh, place in our lives. Oh, no, no.